Hello my friends and welcome to exercise number one. We are going to deal with the big O. So we need to find the upper bound uh, for the function f of n. The first function that we have is 3 f of n equal to 3n plus 8. Okay? This is the first function. We need to find the upper bound of this function. Okay? If we look on this function, what is the highest order of this function? We have two terms, the 3n and the 8. Okay? 3n and here n at 8 plus times n to power 0 and here n to power 1. So, n to power 1 is greater than n to power 0. So, we took n to power 1 as the biggest symbol. And 3n plus uh, 3n1, this means we remove the constant and 3n plus 8 is less than 4n because 3n plus 8 is less than 4n. If we neglect 8, 3n is less than or equal to 4n. That's true. And n, now we remove the constants. n is the notation O of n for the 3n plus 8. Okay? We see is equal to 4 c equal to 4 and n 0 equal to 8 okay this is very important to understand this is the first example don't worry we will clarify in the next exercise if we have the second function f of n equal to n square plus 1 what is the highest uh, order of this function. We have two terms, n squared and 1, which is multiplied by n0. So we took n squared. n squared plus 1 is less than 2 to power n squared because we neglect this and we add 1 to the, the same order. Okay? So n squared plus 1 less than or equal to the power n square to the power uh, or n to power 2 okay for every n greater than 1 therefore the big o notation of this function is equal to n square it's very simple we are just getting the highest order of the function the highest n order of the function okay and the c c is equal to uh, 2 here Two, and n0 is equal to 1. This is the constant. It's very simple. Okay, guys. We are going also to make an example 3. So, find the upper bound for the function n to power 4 plus 100n 100n square plus 50. Okay? So, please guys, think about it. This function f of n contains n power 4 plus 100n square plus 50. How to solve this? How to find the upper bound? In the same way, Look at this function. We have four or three terms, one, two, and three. What is the highest order of this function? What is the highest n order of this function? We have n to power four, okay? So what is multiplied by n uh, to power four? It is one. So this function f of n is less than or equal to, we increase, the multiple the one that multiplied by n to power 4 by 1 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 and the highest degree is n to power 4 okay 
So this function is less than and two and power four. Okay. And n square here is the highest function. So O of n of this function is n to power four. And the constant that we have is the R C equal to two because we have multiplied uh, or we have uh, added one to the, the one that multiplied by n to power four. So this is equal to C or this will determine the C and n zero is equal to 11. Now, we don't care about these uh, constants and n zeros because our all uh, concentration about O of n, okay? So I need from you to understand how to create or how to get O of n for every function, okay? O of n here, it is O of n, okay? This is the complexity. This is the big O notation. Another example, consider the function f of n here equal to 2n cubed minus 2n square. We have 2n cubed minus 2n square because we have two terms here. The highest term is n power cube. Since we have uh, 2n cube minus 2n square, so n cube, uh, 2n cube is being decreased. So this function 2n cube minus 2n square is less than or equal to n cube. We don't need to put here 3n like here. No, we don't need about uh, to make this. We need to put 2n square, 2n cube, okay? Because 2n cube is decreased by minus 2n square. So remember, uh, for, take an example, n equal to 1. 2 minus uh, t 2 times 1 minus 2 times 1 is equal to 0 is le equal less than or equal to 2 yes because 0 less than 2 i substituted 1 inside this we don't care about the, this function we it only uh, care about the big o notation of this function it is o of 3 because it is the highest degree okay this is the big o notation of this function where c is equal to 2 is the constant and n0 is equal to 1. Okay? Now, another two examples that we are going to make in this exercise. Find the upper bound of f of n equal to n. n here is the only term that we have in this function. So, n is less than or equal to n. So, it is of big O notation, O of N notation, okay? With C equal to one, the constant equal to one because C is uh, N is multiplied by one here and N zero equal to one. It's very simple. Let's uh, choose another example. F of N equal to 410. 410 is less than or equal 410. Okay, it's very simple. 410. Now, this for all n greater than uh, 1, this means 410 is equal to O of 1. So this is the P O of 1. This is the notation of O of 1. Okay, we see equal to 1 and N0 equal to 1. So what we have, 
done in this exercise is uh, is understanding the big O notation calculation for this for, the, for these functions. So how to calculate the the O of n, how to get the highest degree of O of n in this exercise. So we have solved these O of n notations. Um, it's very important to understand uh, this and to learn about the O of N notation. And in the next videos, we are going to uh, learn more about these uh, notations and work with more exercises. So don't worry, we are going to make this very simple in the next videos when we deal with the complexity. So. What, what I need from you to understand that big O notation for any function is the highest degree that it contains inside.